Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well today. Today I thought I would share with you a what I eat in a day because it has been a while since I've done one of these. So um, I'm just gonna start off with breakfast because I've actually got it sitting here. I also thought that throughout the day maybe I might just check in with you and talk through how I stay in shape because this is something I get a lot of questions about. Now, I'm not a personal trainer, so I have had so many requests to actually share video my workout routine, but for that reason, I actually think it'd be irresponsible for me to do so just because um, I think if you want to know how to do those exercises correctly there are so many people on YouTube who are much more qualified than me so I will talk you guys through what I do um, but yeah let's just start with what I'm actually <laughs> eating this morning so yeah this morning for breakfast I'm having some banana bread which I baked myself and it's so delicious I want to get into the habit of doing this more and I've topped it with Nutilex which is a dairy-free butter spread and then I've also just got a cup of English breakfast tea with some soy milk in it so yeah, that is me for breakfast today. If I'm still hungry after this, I may also end up having a piece of fruit, but if I do, I will check in and show you guys. Hopefully you can hear me. We're at the grounds right now, just having lunch. I am ravenous. Um, I've ordered a chicken bowl. Let me show you guys. So basically I've got sort of a nourish bowl with Mediterranean style chicken. There's chickpeas, hummus, lots of greens and yummy stuff. And then I've also got a peach and ginger soda. And Luke's lunch, he got a brioche burger with bacon, I think, and a coffee. So, yeah. That is what's on the menu for lunch today. now in the afternoon we've come home from lunch and it's actually a really beautiful day so I thought I'd go for a run now just so that I get it out of the way I thought I'd talk you guys through I guess my philosophy when it comes to eating and also the type of exercise that I do and how frequently but I start with the diet now the first thing that's really important for me to stress is that it's all about balance and everything in moderation so I don't deny myself if I feel like having chocolate I will have it. We've been buying this really beautiful tiramisu from Aldi. I think we're going to stop buying it because we demolish it every single time we get one of the packets. But essentially, we had some of that last night. I indulged. I didn't feel bad about it at all, just because I feel like that's a much healthier approach. Now, I think I mentioned this at the start of the video, but I am lactose intolerant. However, I can still consume a small amount of dairy. So I will eat chocolate. I try to eat mostly dark chocolate for that reason. But if there's some really great milk chocolate, I'm not gonna say no. I just find it makes me a little bit bloated. I have other issues with foods like mushrooms and eggplant that I just can't eat them at all, unfortunately, and they're some of my favorite vegetables. So that sucks, but it is what it is. So yeah, basically, if there is chocolate around, I'm not gonna say no to it. I will have chips if I want. I'm not a um, I'm not big on fast food. It's not really something that I enjoy. I don't really like going and getting pizza unless it's a nice, authentic Italian pizza. And even then, I want to eat it at the restaurant. I don't want to get takeaway brought home. Basically, I just don't really like the way that takeaway food makes me feel, so I would prefer to eat toast over getting takeout, if that makes any sense. And I try to eat quite a balanced diet, so really healthy for the most part. We eat a lot of fresh food. Luke does about 99% of the cooking, I would say. I'm cooking dinner tonight, but he cooks most of the food that we eat, and I'm very fortunate because he enjoys it. And he has a very similar food philosophy to me. So we eat a lot of protein with salad and maybe some other vegetables like roasted potatoes or some grilled asparagus or broccolini so that's the way that we eat day to day when it comes to exercise this is something that I find ebbs and flows for me so I went through a period of not doing a lot of exercise and since we've come back from New Zealand I'm trying to get back into it again so making sure that I get out of the house for at least an hour a day if I'm walking or half an hour if I'm running so what I've been doing is I've been running I would say probably four or five times a week I take Nigel with me and we run about 5k five or six k's uh, he can't really run much further than that. I could, but I do have issues with my back and I have had problems with my left heel. I've damaged my Achilles in the past, so I really need to take it easy. I used to run 15 Ks a few times a week, so I am someone who really enjoys long distance running, but 
I know when my body has had enough. Uh, in addition to that, I also do an ab workout called the P90X Ab Ripper Workout. And if I can find a link to it or something like that, I'm gonna drop it down in the description box below. Now, this is something that I've been doing for years and it really works. I've also done the Kayla Itzinez Bikini Body Guide and that I found also gave me really incredible results. But basically, I like to try and build up my core muscle strength. As I mentioned, just before I do have some back problems and so I find by doing that it helps to ensure that I don't have any instances where I'm finding it really difficult to move around I did at Christmas time really do my back in and I spent two days lying in bed basically because I could barely move so um, I have a bulging disc for anyone wondering and sometimes I have problems with it I damaged it when I was 14 very very long time ago and there's not really anything I can do about it, about it now aside from trying to manage it and make sure that I don't have any instances where I pull it out and find myself in that situation so that is really what I do from an exercise point of view and I find that doing those two things really helps me to balance out what I'm eating it means that I can indulge when I want to and I find that if I do have a period where I'm indulging a lot more than normal I will kind of rein it back and go back to eating a lot more cleaner and I guess not having so many sweet treats but I do find it kind of goes through cycles so yeah I guess that's kind of my take on how I nourish myself and how I exercise but I I do think it's really important to just be active and move around when I was working at Discovery I walked an hour and a half every single day just from my commute 45 minutes walking each way so that was one way that I stayed active considering that I spent a lot of my downtime working on doing my YouTube and stuff like that so yes anyway I'm gonna go out for my run and I will check in with you guys when I am back probably gonna be ready to have a cup of tea then and some chocolate <laughs> I'm back from my run now I've just freshened myself up had a shower and I'm having a cup of tea and also four of these little mini eggs these are leftover from Easter actually I just found them oops some of them are Oreo and then there's a salted caramel one so yeah I'm gonna get right back into work and enjoy this now Hey guys, so it's the next day now and I realized I didn't actually check in or do a proper voice over after our gym chat yesterday. So I kind of wanted to talk you through what I ate for the rest of the day. So I would say around six o'clock I had a cup of tea. Typically I would say on average I have around three cups of tea a day. I don't know what it is, but I just find that they really help to warm me up. I'm always generally quite cold. And then after that we had dinner, I think around 7.30 p.m. And for dinner we had a meal that I cooked. <laughs> I know, shock horror. <laughs> Luke does not 95% of the cooking if you guys weren't aware <laughs> and this was loosely based off a meal that my yaya makes quite frequently so it is a um, chicken that's sort of been shredded up or chopped up and cooked in a tomato based um cooked in a tomato based sauce with thinly sliced peppers and also thinly sliced uh, onions as well and it's usually nice and it reminds me a lot of home it's really nostalgic and for me I don't know it just I guess it takes away any of that homesick feeling that I might ever have living so far away from you know my family that I grew up with. Then to have with my meal I also had watermelon juice so Luke has been making quite a bit of watermelon and mint juice he's really loving it at the moment so I decided I would enjoy some of that. Then I didn't actually have anything else after that although before I went to bed I had a peppermint tea I find that this just helps to calm me down a little bit and get me ready and relax for bed but I would say most nights we do tend to have some sort of a sweet treat so usually we'll have some chocolate or we might have chips or we might have fruit it really depends on what we've got in the house I did kind of smash half a packet of Tim Tams the other day I couldn't help myself so I wouldn't say that we quite kind of moderate the amount of sweet treats that we eat but we do definitely indulge so I would generally have maybe a line or two sort of a row or two of chocolate most evenings if we have some in the house but yeah, that is what I eat in a day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and sorry it was kind of a little bit bitsy. I'm guessing this video is probably very short as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this answered a few questions that you may have had about my exercise routine. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. See you then. Bye.